Most of what I do on this channel is focused on film photography. I shoot a lot of film, and I develop most of, if not all of my film, at home. Now, if you're someone like me who likes to develop your film at home, it can get a little bit nerve-wracking when your chemicals start to get closer to the end of their shelf life. So today, what we're gonna do is talk about a process that you can do to check your chemicals, and while this process isn't really super scientific, it is definitely helpful to see if your chemicals are still active and will develop your film properly. Hey there, me again. What we're gonna be talking about today is how to do a snip test on your C41 chemicals. Now this is a pretty straightforward process and it doesn't take that long to explain, but hopefully after watching this video, you'll be able to get a little bit more life out of your chemicals and be more confident that you're gonna get properly developed negatives. So let's get into it. Now the first thing you're gonna need when you're doing a snip test is a snip off of the end of your roll of film. I like to do this with a roll of 35 millimeter film as it's pretty easy to cut off a portion and kind of reform that film leader. The important thing is that the piece of film that you're using has been fully exposed by light just so that you can kind of get an easy base reading off of your chemicals. So after you've gotten a snip off of the end of your roll of film, you can pull out your chemicals and read the temperature. Now this is where there's a little bit of variance in this process. Some people do this differently, but what I do when I do a snip test is I wait for the chemicals to be room temperature. So once I've taken the temperature of the chemicals, I like to pour a little bit of developer and a little bit of Blix into two separate containers, cut my film strip into two small pieces, and put the small pieces of film in each one. Then I set a five minute timer and swirl the little film strips around in their developer and Blix baths. After the five minutes, you can scoop the film strips out and see how they developed. If the film strip that was in the developer bath is fully opaque black at the end of the five minutes, your developer should still be active. If the film strip that was in the Blix is a clear orange color, kind of like a blank negative after the five minutes, that means your Blix should also be fully active. Over time, when you use your chemicals, you can occasionally do strip tests and compare the results, and once you start seeing a difference and seeing less developing happening on the film strips, you can retire your chemicals. So that's about it for this video. It's a really simple process, and it gives me a little bit of peace of mind once I'm getting towards the end of my chemical shelf life to just do a little snip test and make sure that the chemicals will at least develop the film fully. There might be color shifts and stuff once you get to the end of your chemicals lifespan, but at least you know you can get fully developed images. Also, the chemicals I use are the Cinestill CS41 chemicals. Um, I think the process might be slightly different with Tetanol and some of the other developers out there, but just go online. I'm sure there's plenty of information out there about different chemicals, and I'm sure the manufacturers even provide information. Anyways, I hope that's helpful for you guys. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of peace of mind when you're developing film and just gets you a little bit more life out of your developer. I'll see you next time. Bye now.